I remember my first exam season. The pressure of having 50% of your grade based on one two-hour test was truly mind-blowing, especially when you had exams back to back. I sat in my small dorm all day doing calculus or physics problems and ate takeout for every meal. The only time I went outside or did any exercise at all was to walk to the cafeteria and back. At the end of the three weeks, I looked at myself in the mirror and I couldn't believe what I saw. I had literally gained 15 pounds, my skin was all kinds of messed up, and I felt so unattractive I didn't even want to show my face outside. I thought I would be happy because I worked hard and my grades showed the result, but I wasn't. Fast forward to now. I've definitely learned how to better balance productivity and taking care of myself. I know all of us are in different situations and circumstances, and I'm still constantly learning. But here's what I know about how to actually be productive while maintaining mental and physical health. I just finished with our little training session. It is pouring outside and I can't wait to go home and take a shower. When I was studying for hours upon hours for my exams, I wasn't even making any progress or absorbing the knowledge. I used to spend so much time perfecting my notes to the point of ripping out whole papers because they weren't aesthetic enough, but I was blindly copying the lectures and not knowing what it actually even meant. I was studying a lot, but I wasn't learning a lot. Throughout the years, I've learned a lot of tips to work smarter and it was actually one of the first videos I've ever made on my channel. I've learned that practicing with example problems was much more effective than blindly copying lecture notes. I've learned that studying really hard for 30 minutes is better than two hours of distracted studying. I've learned there are so many resources online that can be extremely useful. Secondly, high performers are successful as a result of consistent action, not intense effort. Staying consistent in all aspects of life is so important. In terms of school, instead of studying the entire course at the end of the semester, I can keep up with the content throughout the whole year. During exam season, everything just becomes review material rather than actually trying to learn the content itself. In terms of exercise, I know we've probably all gone through phases of getting extremely motivated and trying to work out every day for two hours a week and then getting completely burnt out. But it's more important to keep a consistent workout schedule that's realistic than go through the ups and downs and yo-yo exercising and dieting. It's better to work out twice a week for 30 minutes and stick to it for months on end and slowly increase it over time, then jump straight into working out two hours every day, but give up after a week. Same thing goes for keeping organized. 15 minutes of organizing and tidying a day is so much easier than having everything pile up. A huge mountain of a mess is really intimidating compared to a small hill.
So right now I'm studying for my linear algebra exam and I don't know about you guys but my professors, they always post practice problems but they never post the answer or the solution. To be honest, this makes no sense to me because how are you supposed to know if you're doing the question right or wrong? So at first, I recommend doing the problem on your own. And then after I'm done, I go to this website called Brainly and you can search up the answer to any question. So sometimes the question is on there and it'll give me like a step-by-step -step solution so I can check to see if not only my answer is correct but also the way that I did it. And then sometimes if it doesn't have the specific question that was on my practice problems, there's this feature called Brainly Tutor and I can specifically chat with a tutor right then and there and they'll give me like a detailed explanation for my question and then also you can look back on your answer to the solution later. So if you're interested in Brainly, I have a link in the description below that you can click. So I haven't done makeup in a really long time, so that's what I'm going to do now. People often say that you yourself are your own worst enemy. Sometimes the way that you talk to yourself can be crueler than you would ever dream to be to another person. It's so easy to hold yourself to such a high standard that you often even forget to give yourself credit for all the progress you have made. Why should you be the only person who can't catch a break? In these cases where I'm not feeling my best, I have to ask myself what is the smallest thing I can do right now to move my life forward? It's important to take things one step at a time because small wins can snowball into huge accomplishments. Okay, this is the final look. I'm gonna take some Instagram pictures now. Um, actually, I totally forgot I had a meeting right now. Sunshine or gray, I wake up and say that I let this day. take my makeup off because it's just so uncomfortable on my skin right now because it's really dry also I need to get started on one of my projects that I totally forgot you know why I forgot it's because I didn't put it in my calendar so listen learned put everything in your calendar Here are some reminders on how to take it easy on yourself. Pay attention to the trends. It doesn't matter if you failed at doing something today or this week. What matters is that you tried. Your mistakes are part of your learning. Don't compare yourself to others because you are not them. There's no right way to do anything. Learn from people who criticize you. Anything worth doing is worth doing badly. And look at your past like a biography where you've lived and you've learned.
do some journaling. This is